Hey guys, we are out here in Revontuli Coast where I had been doing a whitetail grind before the December 6 update and now I am back here checking out what is going on in Revontuli since the update and I'm a little bit confused guys, I am a little bit confused. Before the, before update, the update, on this lake I had four whitetail zones, those were all whitetail zones. Now I have none. Now I understood that all we had to do was come back and rediscover our zones if we were missing zones and that they would be in the same place, but so far I don't see any whitetail coming into this lake. More than halfway through drink time for whitetail here in Revontuli. And I know that a lot of things have moved around. Let me show you what else has changed since the update. Now guys, if you are doing a whitetail grind and things have changed with your map since the update, update please let me know how they have changed in the comments below I would love to know or a red deer grind because I know things have definitely changed with the red deer grind as well now this zone right here guys before the update I had three level three whitetails stacked in this zone and a level two albino. Now the level two albino is still here. I don't see him at this particular moment. He hasn't arrived yet, but he is still in this zone. But my three level threes, I have no idea where they are. So today we are gonna search the map for them see if we do have more zones to discover and try and get our whitetail grind back on track so that we can continue grinding for a whitetail great one here in Revontuli Coast. Now I, before the update, had 73 drink zones here in Revontuli and that is a lot of zones. Most people don't have as many as I do. Most people have around 65. But I just counted today and I now have 55 drink zones, so it sounds like I might have as much as 20 drink zones to find now. And if we do find these level threes, I mean, EW said that Whitetail were not going to get reset, so if they're not here, they then have to be somewhere on my map, right guys? They have to be here somewhere. So we're gonna scour the map, see if we can't find those level threes. And when we do, we are gonna shoot them today. Hopefully this will help you guys to get your whitetail grind back on track here in Revontuli or whatever map you are doing your grind on because I'm pretty sure all of the grinds have changed. Now interestingly, this zone was over here. It moved a little bit, <laughs> which is interesting. It's not in the exact same spot, but this spot is actually pretty sweet. I have a tent right here and a tripod right here. So even with the increased spook radius, I am able to farm three zones from this one spot without spooking any herds. Now, obviously you can't set up like that at every zone, but this one you definitely can. So I have a herd down here, and that's a pretty nice level two, but not seeing my threes. I can shoot over here, and then I can shoot across the lake, and nothing is going to spook. Let's start looking around and seeing what's going on, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing zones at this lake too. All right, let's go check here. Well, we definitely do have whitetail here. I have not picked up any other zones here. Don't see any of my level threes yet, so we will keep on searching. Well, that's definitely a zone missing right there. I'm definitely missing a zone right over here. And I have pulled my tents, so getting over there is going to be a giant pain in the neck. Problem is, I haven't done this whitetail grind in quite a while because I have been really focusing on moose, and I don't remember where all of my zones were. Now this spot right here is amazing guys. If you do have whitetail zones on this lake, all three of those are whitetail zones. And this is a great spot where you can take 300 meter shots and not spook any of your zones. So this is an awesome spot. This is the lake basically halfway down on the right hand side. Great for farming after the update with the increased spook radius of about 270 to 300 meters when firing any weapon. So for this grind guys, I have been using stacking and herd management and it does look like this zone is still pretty much shot down. I have almost exclusively level ones and that guy is a tiny level two. So this zone looks good, nothing very big in there. And again, all tiny deer over in this zone as well. So I can actually pull up my tent here, which is absolutely sweet. And I think this zone over here has all females. Which begs the question, where the heck are my level threes? Let's keep looking. So over here, guys, we are at this zone called Troll's Kettle. This is actually top left-hand side of the map. This is a really great spot, actually, to overcome the spook radius. I have some really nice white tail in here. I'm actually going to drop a tripod and see if I can farm both of those zones. And we will go for a couple kills there and see 
If these deer over here spook at the same time, they shouldn't spook. Let's do it. Beautiful, we got them both. And splat. And it looks like I still spooked these deer. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, I'll go for them. That should not have happened. Why did it? Oh, we got him. He should die. Maybe I should have shot that zone first. There they go. All right, let's go pick him up. Beautiful double long from 292 meters, 223. Very nice buck. And we did get two vitals from 300 meters. And, ooh, liver? I will take it. 289 meters on that guy. And here is our third. He's a pretty nice buck. 214. Shot him in the leg. <laughs> 364 meters, so I am pretty sure he was around 300 meters when we did spook him. And that is pretty crazy because when I shoot moose, I'm fine from 300 meters, but it sure seems like the whitetail spooked from more than 270 meters. Okay guys, so right here, I definitely had a drink zone right over here. Let's see if there is actually whitetail there. There's nothing there. So much for them being in the same spots. They are definitely not there, so I'm gonna have to scour my entire map to find the rest of my whitetail zone. Okay, we have deer here. No level threes that I can see, but we do have a decent herd of deer here, so this is one of my shooting zones and I will continue farming here, so I'm glad that they are still there. So it's kind of looking, guys, like if you were doing a whitetail grind in Revontuli for the update and you do want to continue, you are going to have to research your map, find the rest of your zones because some of your zones will have disappeared and reset up and continue farming. Now, EW said that the whitetail population was not reset, so you should be able to continue where you were in your grind and not lose your progress if that is the case. This is where I am right here, basically the bottom left-hand corner of the map, and I know for a fact I should have a zone right over here as well. Okay, so right now we are at this lake right here, and my zone is still here. Looks like a beautiful, healthy zone with some really nice bucks. Now, I know this zone was completely shot down. Let's see what's there. Okay, so one bigger level two has shown up in here. Oh, there's another one. So I need to continue farming this zone. So basically, we are going to have to recheck every single zone, and... Oh, we got a new zone. Look at that. New zone. I never had a zone there before. That is fascinating. So that is definitely in a different spot. So I am going to have to rerun my entire map. So basically, guys, whitetail are everywhere on this map, except if I were to draw a line, they can be on this lake and this lake. But if I were to draw a line, it would go something like this and like that. There will be nothing on the very bottom. But other than that, every single piece of water needs to be checked for zones. And it's just very frustrating. So the one really good thing about this update now is that I can see my whitetail zone here, even though there are four species using this drink zone. So before the update, I actually had to go there and figure out whether whitetail were there and either mark it on a map or just mentally remember it, which is not the easiest thing to do, but now we can actually precisely count how many zones we have. So at least that was an awesome change from the update. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this guy is a level two diamond and he was in this zone before the update and he is still here, so that is good news. So not necessarily everything is going to move. We just don't know, right? Now, usually I can shoot across the lake, go over to my pickup tent, pick him up, and then these white tail here will render in. Now, I don't know if the new spook distance is gonna change anything. Let's actually shoot a couple and see if it still happens. No! I don't like that they don't give me my two seconds, no. Well, it definitely is more challenging. All right, we got him. So travel right over to here. And I do still have whitetail over here. So, and some nice ones too. So this is a great spot guys. 
you can go back and forth and because they just don't render in when you're that close to the zone, you can shoot across, pick up your kills, use a retrieval tent, and then shoot backwards and the spook radius will not affect it. And besides, these deer are pretty far back, so it probably wouldn't have mattered anyway. They look like they're more than 300 meters away. Okay guys, I'm back at my starting lake and my albino is here, but still there are no level threes around this lake or in this zone. So I'm still hoping they are somewhere on the map. I am going to have to spend a few hours and run all the water sources and make sure I find all of my zones so that we can get back grinding here in Revon Thule. Now, is it a little bit annoying? Yes, it is. But is it doable? Absolutely. We can definitely fix this grind and all I'm really gonna say to you guys is don't give up on your grind if you are frustrated by the last update. Where possible, set up your tripod 300 meters back so that you are not spooking other zones. And if you do spook zones, just continue your rotation, come back and get that zone later. They will eventually come back. But please don't let it stop you from putting that great one in your lodge. If you are doing a grind, the one thing I have learned from doing many grinds, I have now spawned nine great ones in the last year and a half, is that if you shoot them, it will spawn. It might take you a very short amount of time, it may take you a very long amount of time. It is just RNG, which equates to luck, but if you do continue to shoot them, eventually you will get a great one. And I only have one white tail great one, so I am hoping for another. And this guy is an absolute beauty. So let's take him and splat. And you are a beauty, my dude. Look at him. He is a silver, but that is totally all right. We are definitely going to taxi him. And that is a sweet little find. We will definitely put him in our lodge and we will continue grinding because I do need another whitetail great one. And if you guys would like to learn how to put a great one moose in your lodge in Medved, click right here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.